so speaking of uh, Chinese medicine and the, the uh, subtypes of arthritis in Chinese medicine on your hand out here, there's basically four types of uh, sort of pathogens. Now what I mean by pathogen is something that comes from outside the body that creates this disorder. Um, and a lot of these pathogens can, um, can be developed uh, inside the body, but a lot of this is meant to be from outside. And in fact, uh, I guess we're in somewhat of a luck that the, the clouds have given us pretty perfect arthritis weather or something. So, um, does is anyone, myself included, does anyone suffer from uh, any kind of arthritis pain in the room? And I imagine you've tried, um, you know, some pain relievers and those help, and then you realize you've been on them for so long and you want something a little bit more longer lasting, a little bit more permanent. Um, not to mention that long-term use of a lot of the over-the-counters have uh, been proving a lot more recently to be pretty problematic for the digestive and, uh, you know, the digestive system in the liver. So people are looking for alternatives such as Chinese medicine, chiropractics, uh, Chinese herbal medicine. So we're happy to help because, uh, you know, our herbs have, you know, very few side effects, none of which, you know, like the, uh, the uh, pharmaceuticals that are being widely used. So people are finding a lot of belief in Chinese medicine. So let's quickly go through, like I said to those who came um, a little bit after the hour, um, I'm trying to accomplish a lot. There's a lot of good information here as far as the subtypes of Chinese medical arthritis. We're going to go over some foods, some activities to do with your body, more physical and more medi meditative. So the four types of arthritis, they're basically wind arthritis, cold arthritis, damp arthritis, and heat arthritis. Now, a lot of this might seem, uh, you know, interestingly named, and I'll explain to you which one? So basically, all four of these represent things from the outside making their way into the body, be it from an acute injury, be it from a pre-existing immune weakness that predisposes one to catch, you know, colds in this type of weather. But a lot of the joints, the physiology of the joint, uh, the neck is the best example because this is the thing that we are most often covering up when the weather gets like this. And you might wonder why. I mean, we, we all know it feels uncomfortable to be in this way, but I think there, there's more of a reason, a more interesting reason to why um, joints like our spine, our big joints like our hips and knees are exposed. It's because um, a lot of the vessels, blood vessels, nerve, um, everything has to kind of travel toward the surface at the joint so that we can actually bend. Um, and so a lot of the vessels that are normally deep inside our body are much more at the surface. And when our pores are open, bacteria, viruses have a much easier way to get inside the body and, and cause disease, whether it's a cold or a flu or arthritic pain. So in our perfect example outside right now, it's very cold, it's very windy, it's very wet. And I'll, we're going to get to the damp one is the third one which is kind of similar to our environment right now, but broken apart, um, wind and cold and damp sort of explain our current, uh, our current climate outside right now. Okay. Okay. We've got a sign up sheet somewhere. So like I said, these types often combine. So we're gonna talk about them separately. So wind arthritis, and now it says uh, a pathogenic wind. Oh, what's that? That's basically the Chinese medical view of something that's floating in the air and is carried around by the wind, whether it's a virus, a bacteria, or simply the cold nature of the air. Um, wind arthritis, the thing that <clears throat> makes wind arthritis the name that it is, is the fact that a joint pain moves around. Now why, does, why do I feel it in my knee and then why does it go to my, my shoulder and it floats around? Some people have this kind of arthritis. And so like wind that moves around very quickly and changes and stops and starts and these are the kind of arthritic pain seen in a wind type arthritis. It's because of all of these joints 
being exposed, whether it's because the immune system is a little bit lower, therefore the pores, which are controlled by our immune system to, to sort of regulate our temperature, it's kind of like opening the windows. I, you know, I don't think anyone would like it if I just left all these windows really open right now, we'd be pretty uncomfortable. And so the pores act like our little windows into our body. And if this, you know, windy climate can get inside, this is the kind of wind moving in our body, the ability for these pains to kind of float around quickly. So that's the wind type arthritis.